Hello there, Braden Smith here from Learn to Play the Fiddle. I want to share with you today a, a really great trick for learning how to play your ornamentation in your Irish fiddle music, uh, but keeping it really rhythmically tight. Now, we all know that ornamentation is really important in Irish fiddle music, um, but we also know that the rhythm is absolutely the, the key. This is all dance music that we're playing really here, so we've got to keep the rhythm really tight. Now, sometimes when we're introducing quite complicated ornamentation into a tune, it can, uh, it can throw the rhythm off, and we, we really don't want that. So I want to share with you a really great way of practicing your, your ornamentation so that you can keep your tunes really rhythmically tight. So we're going to just have a look at the first part of a lovely reel uh, called Johnny McGreevy's Reel. Um, I'm just going to play you the first four bars, and then we'll have a look at... Um, how you can practice any bit of any tune that you're working on. Uh, this applies to anything that you're, you're trying to learn and I'll just show you how you can work on keeping your ornaments really nice and crisp. So this is the opening phrase of this tune. We're not actually going to learn this tune today, but if you're interested in learning this tune or, or other tunes with me, then do subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making more videos for, of tunes that you can learn, uh, including this one, soon soon enough. So uh, do give it a subscribe, and, uh, and yeah, if you, especially if it's your first time watching here. I'll just play you that first, that first four-bar phrase one more time, so... quite a lot going on in here don't worry too much if you can't if you can't follow the tune because as I say this little trick is going to be useful for you in any tune that you're learning at the moment so I'll just play you the first two bars now uh, with ornamentation and then I'll play it to you without any ornamentation just the melody so with the ornamentation it goes like this that's our first two bar phrase without ornamentation it would sound like this Same thing, one time without, and one time with with ornamentation. So again, don't worry if you if you if you don't know this tune or if you you're not interested in learning that this tune. That's fine. Uh, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna share with you is gonna be useful regardless. So, um, so what we've got in these first two bars, at least the way that I play this this opening two bar phrase, is we've got a cut in the first bar and we've got a joint short roll in the second bar. Um, if, again, if you're interested in learning these types of Irish ornaments, then I'll be making videos on them soon, so uh, do subscribe to the channel. So the, the, first, the first bar, we've got this cut between the two Gs. Second bar. A roll or a joint short roll, if you're, if you're interested in the different sorts of rolls. Um, so here it is without the ornamentation, and then here it is with. So. And then with. Now what's absolutely key here is that we keep the rhythm exactly the same regardless of whether we're playing it just on just the melody alone or whether we're putting in all the ornamentation. So a great way of practicing this is we're just going to loop it. We're going to play it as if it was on a loop pedal. As soon as we get to the end of the two bars we're going to go straight back and, uh, and, and start again. So I'll just do just the melody. It would sound like this. Again. And if we loop it, it goes like this. Once you've learned to do that with any phrase that you're working on, then you can alternate between playing just the melody and playing with the ornaments that you're trying to incorporate. And, and when you do this, you should carry on tapping your foot or whatever it is you do to keep time or just feeling the pulse and keep the pulse going both, both times around, both with ornamentation and without. So that would go like this. So first of all, without. that what I'm trying to do there is just keep that pulse going regardless of whether or not I'm putting the ornaments in or not. And this, this will make sure that you're keeping your rhythm really tight even as you put the ornamentation in. 
So you can do this with anything that you're learning. It could be a single bar, it could be a bar of a jig with a long roll in it, or it could be a just a single cut in a bar of a reel or whatever it is. Just take that little section, loop it round, make sure that you're keeping the pulse going regardless of whether or not you're playing with the ornaments or without, and that'll really help you to tighten up the rhythm of your playing when you're introducing introducing those ornaments. Great, I hope you find this useful. If you do, give this a like and uh, do check back for more videos soon. Thanks very much.